Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lamentable Asteroid. So in the last episode, we started development of our recirculating bathroom, as you can see right up here. We'll get things rolling again. But yeah, we've got a, a sustainable bathroom right here. Two showers, two lavatories, and a sink. And this is where our polluted water will go. Now one thing I need to figure out, which I kind of messed up on, I need to filter the water before it gets in. So what I might have to, so what I'm thinking is we just have to redo because I know the water sieve is going to go there. And then it just has to reconnect there and there. That should do it. But... We need this research to get finished as quickly as possible. And, oh wow, that's filling up really fast. And also in the last episode, we gained not only semi-sustainable, completely sustainable power. Between the coal generator and the natural gas generator, generator with the pump being right here, right next to it, we're able to just... Consistent... Just consistent power in there. So I don't know why things aren't... Let's just quickly get that built while he finishes off that research over there. He's only got, what, eight more to go and then the research is done, though this cycle is just about to end. So now we have a, uh... yep. We have food production. Like we're doing actually really well on food. Like we might be able to extend out all the way here and just make some more areas for growing plants would always be a good thing to do. Yes, yeah, sleep, little ones. Sleep, my little duplicates. S rest your little heads. Actually, we're probably, we're starting to get up there in the amount of cycles I've done in a single in a single playthrough. Normally, I don't get. Normally, I only play about thirty cycles before things really go go crazy on me. Guess I'm kind of really focusing to make sure things go right. Job mastered and research got completed at the same time. Oop. Now we have two. Two miners. Two. What a save time. And out, oh, yep, I even had that set up right. Awesome. Hypothermia. Then we'll get all that mopped up. Get all the loose water mopped up. Or actually, no, I'm not going to do that because that'll just create an infinite loop right there. <coughs> just stay in there and you'll feel better soon. And now we can start putting polluted water in there. Let's go to the areas where there's plenty of polluted water, but not much of anything else. Oxygen, we could be doing better. I'm actually going to priority 8 all of those so that way they get tended to more frequently because we really need that. I 
algae terrarium, algae terrarium, algae terrarium, and algae terrarium. Because we really need to get the oxygen production going again. Though it is nice that we don't have to go down here very often. <coughs> Excuse me there. We don't have to go down here unless we absolutely have to. Okay, that's... Oh, there's nothing in here. Alright! Our bathroom is almost done. Because then we will start taking advantage of that and have fresh water from that as well. Might just get its own dump out. Let's priority nine that so that way they get that done quicker. Get it done! And then also mop that up. So that way you guys stop stepping in it. Because then, like I said, I'm going to turn this into a... Nah, I don't think I can do that. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to get rid of this, move the med bay there, and then turn this into another barrack so I can potentially start allowing more in. As we might be getting to a point where we can allow more in... <laughs> we will have to see how things go. Well, I'm actually going to get rid of that pipe for right now, just so that way we have no spillage. Once we actually start getting water flowing through here. Come on, get this built. Thank you, you're getting it built. Oh. What's one more? I have like infinite power production anyway. We're gonna have so much water for that, it's gonna be unreal. So I'm not getting rid of this until this is all done. Because it's pipe blocked because it can't pump anything anywhere. Because <laughs> there's nothing for it to pump to. All we need is that one last one built. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I just got a nice tickle in my throat. And there it goes. Look at it go. And now they can take a shower. <laughs> and I just realized I'm about to pollute my entire water supply. I am polluting my entire water supply. Yeah, we'll deal with that for right now, but we have to actually. Get rid of those three.
And we're just wrecking our water supply here. We'll eventually we'll get another filtration thing built, and we'll we'll get another water sieve built to uh, actually filter out our water. Wrong set of pipes. And hence, and now you see why I waited to have my bathroom completely built. <coughs> and then we'll get all of this polluted water cleaned up so that way it's no longer contaminating that. And luckily there's actually a little, I don't even know if the devs realize it, but you can actually go down here. And actually clean up polluted water in water. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a thing. They need fertilizer. And I need to reconnect those together so that way I can actually start pumping. So yep, and then it'll filter out through here and then come out nice and fresh there. Then just have to re-enable that building. I'll hold off on that for right now. And now the water just keeps building in the pipe. And then once we get sand in there, so now I can get rid of that. I can get rid of those. Well, actually, I'll hold off on that. They need to get all of this taken care of first. Do I even have? I have fertilizer. I have 275 kilograms. These guys need irrigation. Everything's looking good. Well, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Sharing the video is always helpful. And don't forget, while you're hitting that like button, why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ding that bell next to it to get notified when I put up more great videos like these. So we'll just keep it moving here. Keep it trucking here. So we're doing just great. And like I said, we'll have an damn damn near infinite supply of water I'll almost have to set up a water sieve like somewhere maybe I chuck these four and Well, stress is starting to creep back up, but we have an awesome bathroom now, so that's always a good thing. I know I got plenty of sand. I have 56 tons of sand. There we go. Fresh water in spades. We now have sustainable we now have an almost completely sustainable water source 
So then actually I can hook up this right here because it's inconsistent coming down here. It only comes down when they use it. This I can constantly just keep filtering, filtering, filtering more and more. We'll just priority nine those. We don't even really need the coal generator going right now because the natural gas generator is giving us all the power we need. What do I have in here? Meal lice, that's it. Are you guys just not gonna harvest shit? Oh, that is a pretty nice little water system. That's pretty, ex pretty nice little water system here. Pretty efficient too. Have the water filtration just for the bathroom right here. I'm turning the old polluted water from all of these algae terrariums I have, and just turning it into fresh water for the bathroom. So actually, I think I'm also going to. That's because you guys aren't harvesting the food. Ah, you fell asleep. Enable the auto harvest. Auto harvest, auto harvest. That is just about made. Yeah, get that fixed. Thank you. See, it didn't even take that long for you to fix it either. Oh yeah, so the main focus of this one was pretty much just getting our water systems in place, which we now have. <clears throat> so we have an assen essentially a sustainable bathroom here, so long as these algae terrariums are going. And so long as we have algae, and there's always there's pockets of algae around that I can get to. So we're doing pretty good here. We just need to get these things harvested. Come on, guys. Harvest them. Just priority seven all of them so that way they might focus on harvesting our food so we don't have we're seriously out of food so what happens when you guys don't harvest things we run out of food Oh, that is just working beautifully. Beautiful. So yeah, we're gonna start. We're gonna bring in another set of another half dozen to bring in a. We're gonna slowly bring in a dozen more. Now this time though, the more we bring in, I'm gonna be more and more picky. I'm only gonna be choosing the guys I want. I don't think I need any of those right now. I just need the grooming station and the critter drop off to get a ranching room started. So I'm gonna get a ranching room started so that way we can start ranching and you know, start catching these little guys. I'm gonna make this into my little ranch, into a little ranching room. For the, uh, 
where the med where the current med bay is now is going to be moved where the bathroom here is and then this will be a small little ranching area where I can hold my guy hold these guys all right I just got to get everything cleaned up over here so that way in the future it's just sweeping up no contents no contents we'll just keep getting things picked up Okay, we don't we don't have so much of a food shortage anymore. We may not be getting a whole lot of water, but it's water. I don't get why that's doing that. <clears throat> Whatever. But taking advantage of the fact that this emits polluted water, might as well use it to might as well filter it out. Oh. You only need to do that when you're leaving, guys. Though we do have some wires that are starting to get damaged that we'll need to have repaired as we go. But yeah, we don't even need these manual generators anymore for now. Well, so long as we have this geyser here, we'll be able to kind of sustain and start actually digging up. Because there are tracks out, there are ways we can go to get up. Things are definitely a lot more stable than they were before. Then from the first episode, things have definitely improved. Alright, once they get all this shit cleaned up and picked up, we've got food again. Frizzleberries. That's priority seven once all this cleanup is done. We just need to get all this cleanup done so that way. And then we'll also just deconstruct all of that. That bathroom, move this over there. We won't deconstruct that though. We'll get that room cleaned up too so that way it's nice and clean. And it won't be that difficult for them to move everything up there because it's right above them. It's right upstairs, or up ladder, I should say. Sleep, little ones. You earn all the rest you get. You have earned all the rest you are getting there. From a hard day's work as always. But we'll just keep getting things cleaned up. Keep getting things cleaned up. We got plenty of water right there for our little... Uh, a little bathroom system and we'll just keep we'll just take advantage of this 20 tons of polluted water and actually we're gonna just start getting everything all nice and cleaned we just need to get everything cleaned we are just gonna get everything cleaned up Surprised? Oh, it's all dissipating. Cool. It all dissipated throughout the et throughout the uh, area. And yeah, it's gonna take him a while to get all this cleaned up. But oh well, need to get it all cleaned up anyway. So clean, clean. That'll also help our decor. 
It was like right here our decor is plus 82 is awesome, awesome decor, bad decor, really bad decor. Oh well, he actually adds to the decor. Wow. I didn't think those little hatches would add to the decor. <laughs> I've never actually zoomed into them taking the showers. <laughs> They're all like, ah, hands in the air like I don't care. That is hilarious. I've never zoomed in on them in the, in the shower before until just now. I just decided to do it. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. We really don't have a food shortage. They just need to harvest it. Which, we're getting things cleaned up so it's easier to harvest things. I know. We still gotta find that last dead body. There's still another dead body floating around somewhere that I don't know where they are. I don't know where that dead body is. Maybe they'll get swept up. Yeah, you know what? Everything in there is a lost cause. I'm not going to bother with it. Oh my god, it's going to take them forever to clean all this up. Forever. So that'll be something that, you know what? I will go... I will just go room to room. What's the harvest button? Why? Never remember. All right, harvest. These need to be worried about above all others. But without that, we have no food. Wonder if they added anything new you can do with the... Uh... No, still just the meal lice. Oh, I guess I can have this one doing lice low. Yeah, I'll have that one doing lice loaf and this one doing the mush bars. And then have this making grizzle berries. Well, we still have a little bit of an issue with food still, but that is slowly getting fixed. Especially once we can do rant, once we can start domesticating some of these hatches we have sitting around in here taking their eggs, using them to make omelets and things like that with. We'll be good with food soon enough. But I think that about wraps up this episode of Oxygen Not Included here. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Sharing the video always helps out. If you're really liking, the, if you're really liking my videos and this is your, or this is your first time to the first time watching me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Every subscription helps. And until the next video, this is Flux of FluxNet Games. Thanks for watching.